Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am participating in a Christmas DIY trash to treasure collaboration with another channel, Clueless Mama D. We both love to thrift and do DIYs and trash to treasures. And so she invited me to go ahead and collaborate with her on a Christmas trash to treasure. So if you've never watched her channel, I will link it in the description box below. You should definitely go and check her out. We both decided that we would have a Christmas theme and post them on the same day. So when you're done watching my video, I would love it if you'd go and check hers out. On my channel, I love to do thrift videos, thrift with me, uh, thrift hauls and DIYs. And home tours and decor. So if you like that kind of content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. For this Christmas trash to treasure DIY, I wanted to use things that I knew people could get their hands on or that they might have sitting around their house and may not know what to do with. I decided to use this little teapot and sugar bowl and also my husband's baby cup, it's silver. But I think a lot of us have these pieces that we might have inherited from a parent or that we might pick up at a yard sale and we pick them up and we don't know what to do. There's my husband's baby cup. So I thought I would give you an idea for what you could do with them at the holidays. So you'll need three little vessels for a grouping of three or just one, you can just make one. Then I also used bottle brush trees. These I got from the Dollar Tree, and then you'll see I also have cream ones that I got off of Amazon. I ordered them a while back because I really like bottle brush trees and I knew I'd want to use them at the holidays. Then I have some embellishments that I picked up at the Goodwill outlet bins, but again, I'm sure if you look in your craft bins, you might have things that are sparkly that you could use to decorate your little bottle brush trees. That's what these will be for. And then I also got some trims that I've picked up from different yard sales. And I'm probably gonna use the white lace, but I wanted to show you that you could use different things as well. I have a gray lace and a lace with red and white, but for my particular purposes this time around, I wanted to just use the white lace. Then I also got some flower foam out of my craft closet and my hot glue gun. And because I'm using hot glue, anything I do today can be undone. So that's important to remember. I also have this old pillowcase that I got from a thrift store that I'm gonna use to tear up and use some of the fabric. I paid 49 cents for it. And the most fun element that I'm incorporating into my trash to treasure is some of my grandmother's buttons from her button collection. They are kept in this old planter's jar. She always had this in her little apartment. And so I just went through and looked for ones that were sparkly and kind of went along with that neutral color scheme that I was looking to use in this project. But again, whatever you have in your craft closet or, you know, if you save buttons from clothing that you get, you could use those as well. This is just what I chose to use. So after I found all of my embellishments, I took my flower foam and just kind of jammed it into my husband's baby cup. I knew that his cup was a little too deep for what how I wanted the bottle brush tree to look when it was in there. So I decided to put some foam in there. Um, so I kind of jam it in and then I cut off the top and then you'll see I kind of wind up cutting it a little bit more. Once I got it to the right height for the bottle brush tree that I wanted to use, I went ahead and then saw how the bottle brush trees fit into the other two pieces. And I decided that on the little sugar bowl, I didn't need any floral foam, but for the teapot, I wanted to put that tree up a little higher. So I just cut a little cube of floral foam and stuck it down into the teapot. And I did wind up hot gluing these down but again because it's hot glue it's not permanent so no worries about reusing this teapot in a different way in the future
I knew I wanted to do something a little bit different for the tree that was going to go in my husband's cup and I needed a piece of my pillowcase to do it. So I took the pillowcase and cut off the edge and then I used my scissor to cut slits in the fabric and then I just tore the slits to make strips of fabric. In addition to using one of these strips for covering the base of the tree in my husband's cup, I also was able to use one of these strips in lieu of a piece of lace and it just gave me a little bit more variety on my embellishments. So when I was done making the strips of fabric, I took the bottle brush tree and glued it to the piece of floral foam I had already cut. And then I took a strip of the fabric and glued it around the base of the tree to cover the foam and the plastic base because the little teapot and the sugar bowl were kind of narrow and didn't show the base of the tree. So I liked that, but my husband's baby cup showed a little bit more because it's a little bit of a wider mouth. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and cover it with a piece of fabric. Once I had the base of the tree all covered with the fabric, I took my hot glue and put a drop of hot glue into the bottom of the baby cup. And then I took the tree that was glued to the foam with the fabric and stuck it down in. And I used my scissor to kind of get the fabric down into the cup to make it look the way that I wanted. Once all that was done, then I got to do the fun part, which is just to decorate three little mini Christmas trees. So I first took these little rhinestones. They are vintage floral accessories or corsage accessories is what I am told. And so they have very fine wire, which I actually, at first I was like, oh, do I need to cut that off and just glue them? But I liked the, the way the wire looked because it had a really nice old patina to it, which kind of matched the darkened silver of all the little pieces that I was using of all the little teapot and the cup and the sugar bowl so I decided to just leave the wire on and just wrap it around the tree and let it be part of the embellishment so each tree I think got three or four pieces of these little wired rhinestones and then each tree also needed a tree topper so I kind of played around with the different embellishments that I had to see which type I wanted to add to each tree. And so I wound up using one of those little clasps that I'd found at the bins, and then I used two of my grandmother's buttons. And the hot glue worked great for attaching the embellishments to the bottle brush trees. I just took a little dab of glue and make sure you don't burn yourself. And then each little vessel also needed a piece of lace or fabric tied around its neck of sorts so I used lace on two of them and a piece of fabric on the third and I just did my best to tie a simple bow and then I embellished the bow on each of them with another button. And I decided 
I wanted to make these to go near my antique samovar that I had found earlier in the thrifting season. Right now it still has pumpkins and mums in it, but I'll change that out for winter greenery. And I put two of them here. I'm just showing you different ways I could display them. I actually created this tray from a candlestick and a little silver tray, and I put them together with poster putty so that I can take them apart really easily and there's no damage to either of them. I probably could use hot glue as well, but poster putty is just easier. And so I put two of the pieces on there and then I have the third down in front. And then you'll actually see here, I also could display them without the little silver tray. I think I actually like this better, but I don't know. You can let me know what you think, but I really like the way they look next to the little tea samovar. I think it's going to be really pretty for the Christmas season. That's all that I have for you today. Thank you for joining me as I showed you the first of my Christmas DIYs. Stay tuned for more videos like this in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching.